Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science, science you can do right at home. I'm just waiting for the next eclipse here, and going over today's science file. And today's science file says, how can I view a total solar eclipse? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need some cardboard, a piece of paper, some tin foil, some tape, and a pair of scissors. Okay, you are gonna get yourself a cardboard. No, no, no. I don't mean a cardboard box. I need a cardboard tube. Of course, if you can't find a big cardboard tube, you know, you can just get three of these paper towel tubes. You know, and just kind of attach it like this. But I prefer this. Because no attachment required. <laughs> Start by cutting out a view hole at one end of the tube, and then cover the other end with tin foil and secure it with a rubber band. Draw a square just big enough to cover the end of the cardboard tube. Draw flat lines like these, and then cut this out. Trace this on a white sheet of paper, and then cut out the middle section. Now tape this on the inside square cardboard. Finally, bend the ends up and tape them together so that you get a small holdable screen like this. Now you're going to take a pen and you're going to put a pen hole, not a bun hole, in tin foot. Okay, head outside and bring with you your Eclipse viewing tube and your view screen. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to set the pin hole in facing into the sun. And then you're going to use your view screen to cover the other end of the device. Uh, now, see, now you got to line it up. And, but it's really, it might take a while, okay? But it's like really wicked cool when you do. So just like give me a second here to line it up. <laughs> no, that is so wickedly wicked, wicked cool. You can see a picture of the sun right there on your view screen. And you know what? If you were watching like during an eclipse, you could actually see an eclipse happen live right there, right on your view screen, right there without, you know, having to look up into the sky up there, you know, and then damage your eyes. And that would be bad if it would happen. <laughs> So, how does an eclipse happen? And how does this little eclipse viewer work? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. A lunar eclipse happens when the moon is partially or totally blocked by the Earth. This causes the moon to appear slightly orange in color. This happens because although the moon is in the Earth's shadow, some of the sun's light bounces off the moon and makes its way through the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere scatters out blue light and lets through reddish-orange light, making the moon appear reddish-orange. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes right in between the sun and the earth, and fully blocks or partially blocks the sun's light. The bright sun disk is replaced by the dark silhouette of the moon, which casts a shadow on a small part of earth. Although you can look with the naked eye at a lunar eclipse, never look at any solar eclipse, even with sunshades on, because you could go permanently blind. Instead, build an eclipse viewer and watch the eclipse via that. You might think we should get an eclipse every month, but the reason we don't is because the Earth's moon orbits at a tilt of 23 and a half degrees. During most of the moon's orbit, the moon is either above or below the Earth's orbital plane, so it doesn't pass directly in front or behind the Earth. So now you know more about the solar and lunar eclipse. You know, being able to view an eclipse right at home is why science is so cool.